Hey guys, this week I will be sharing an art journal page. I'm using an handmade journal, but you can use whatever you have. I love starting with a layer of molding paste, or you could even use gel medium if you'd like. It's just a great way and easy way to add texture. I'm now using gesso through a stencil and using my catalyst tool to push it through. And as you can see, I'm not very good at cleaning my stencil, so I had some leftover ink in there. But that's okay, it was a, a good surprise. Adding a different stencil for added texture. I wanted to try uh, some resist with uh, embossed statement stamp. So I emboss with Versamark or any embossing ink will work and uh, opaque white embossing powder. If you're not familiar with it, you need to eat the powder for it to melt and reveal your stamp. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see, but I promise it's there and it will be fixed afterwards, so that's okay. It did very well. You can clearly see when it's done. And I decided, why not play? So I took the pad directly and decided to add it there. Because I didn't like the line, I used a brush and then my ends just to smooth around the edges. And now it, it. You need to eat it and, and it's okay, be patient. You can see that it's clearly white. Now adding some color, I'm using the Radiant Rain Sprays by Color Heart, and I wanted it to be a soft page, so using the lightest of the yellow, which is Sour Lemon, and now one of my favorite color of the line called Namorado, which is a soft brown with golden and pink shimmer to it. And this is for later, you'll see. You need to dry very, very thoroughly between your layers or you will end up with a very good mess. And trust me, you don't want that. Been there, done that. But it should be pretty fast to dry. Thank you, it gun. So using the same stencil as the first layer, but as a stamp this one, this time. So using two shades of pink, because it's the color that was in there, and there you go. It's okay, you can't really see what was there, what was the shape, but that's fine. You just add that little color. And as you can see, nothing is ever lost. I'm using another page in my journal too. It will be a good start. And splatters. I think we'll bring everything to the... Look at that! Woohoo! Now using a frame, it's a die cut from Gina's Designs, to accentuate my statement stamp. So I wanted a dark base, but I didn't want black, so I used Paints Grey, which is a very dark blue. And now that it's dry, completely dry, I will use some silk and if you're not familiar with it it's acrylic paint but it's a glaze meaning it's semi-translucent but the intensity of the color is just it's just amazing i just love 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 this paint and so i decided to use a blue and a pink uh, so caribbean blue and rustic rose which is my favorite rose of them all it's like a vintage oh, I just like it and see just nothing fancy nothing complicated just adding some color in there look at the shimmer so I didn't like the way my create word was uh, showing on my page. So I decided that I would use tracing paper. 
stamp it again, emboss it again and glue it to the page. As you can see my hands were a bit filled with the paint but that's okay. It adds that little something and it won't be too visible anyway. So as usual, Versamark, white embossing powder and watch the magic happen. Ooh, love that. Now I cut the circle and cutting is not my strong suit but you know, you do what you gotta do. And I thought uh, leaving it like that would be boring, so I grabbed uh, the Only Dew Radiant Rain Spray, which is a light, a light green, and just added it there. Dried very, very well. And look, just a little touch of something. You can use any glue you want. I use the school glue. It's what I had on it. And put it where the first one was before. Trying to get rid of the bubbles. You can use an old credit card if you want. This little tool is called a send it. And it's a sending tool that looks like a Q-tip. And I wanted to distress a little bit the frame. It's not obvious, but look, it's there. And easy peasy. Put it around the tracing paper with the word. And you're done. I used a heavy gel for it because I didn't want it to get um, not strong enough on the page. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and if you liked it, please remember to subscribe to the channel so you get the updates and to thumbs up so I know. Bye.